Okay, everybody, this is going to be a simple metathesis reaction between thallium sulfate, which I have here. You guys can see the crystals. They're nice and pretty. I'm glad so many of you guys like the clip of them crystallizing, man. I tell you what, those are so fucking beautiful, aren't they? God, that is just amazing. Um, so what I'm going to do is, sadly, dissolve these beautiful little crystals in water. Um, since thallium carb or chlorate is not super duper soluble, in fact, it's even less soluble in water than rubidium chlorate, which is the least soluble of the alkali um, chlorates. So we have to dissolve it in hot water. Then we are going to add... Um, I believe it's 1.61 grams of barium chlorate that I made in a previous video. See here, my piece of shit camera is focused. See, it's very pretty. If I had more potassium chlorate, I would absolutely make more of this shit. Um, so I am going to weigh out the appropriate amount of this, dissolve it in water, add it to this. I am going to um, filter off the barium sulfate, which is always a royal pain in the ass because particles are always so fine and then we are going to evaporate the solution down to get our thallium chlorate um, we are going to use a stoichiometric amount of barium chlorate based on the amount of thallus sulfate that we should have in here um, which I calculated from the 1.02 grams that I started with um, thank you JD um, JD chemist awesome great guy seller on ebay he's who i always buy my thallium from um and he always does me right man i highly highly recommend this guy um seriously y'all it's where i get most of my pure elements that i do my stuff from um so anyway <clears throat> Shilling concluded. Um, then I am going to add this to it. And once I filtered it all off and evaporated everything down, um, crystallize it, dry it, and then I will combine it with some kind of fuel, probably powdered sugar, and um, we will try to ignite it and see a nice thallium green flame um, from a distance. <laughs> Um, that's a little bit dangerous, but what the fuck, you only live once. Um, thallium does make toxic smoke, so you would not want to be downwind of this. You absolutely want to do an experiment like this where you have a lot of space. Probably not the best thing for an amateur to be screwing with. Um, not that a lot of other chemicals are really all that safe either but you know as we all know everybody has mythologized thallium to the point where oh my god so i don't know i, I think the fear may incline people to be i don't know maybe make more stupid mistakes than they normally would and so maybe it's just best avoided for some people anywho not trying to be condescending or anything it's just it really is one that you know you probably you know mistakes can come with high consequences so you know, you really can't afford to make any. So anyway, um, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so we've got the thallium sulfate dissolved here. The solution is nice and hot. Um, thallium chlorate is much more soluble in hot water than it is in cold. Um, got the barium chlorate solution here. It is also nice and hot. See, this is why you need baby stir bars when you work with small amounts of stuff. Add this in here. There's our barium sulfate. There we go. And remember, barium chlorate is toxic, but um, barium sulfate is not. However, thallium chlorate is wildly poisonous, so, yeah. You do want to be careful for that. Alright. We are going to do the first filtration through a thick cotton plug to remove as much of the barium sulfate as possible. And of course I didn't save my stir bar from ending up in there. 
because it's not full of uh, highly soluble contact poison. Nah. And if you're wondering where my gloves are, I have to save them. I only have a couple pairs, and I'm going to need them here in a minute. So, I'm going to let this filter. It looks like we're getting the vast majority of the barium sulfate out of that. Yay. Um, and once I've got that all filtered and washed out, I will come back. Okay, this is our solution of thallium 1 chlorate. Now all I'm going to do is evaporate it down in the evaporating dish. So, this is generally a lengthy process. Oh, there we go. Don't want to overfill it. I think it's okay. Hope it's okay. Oh well, if it's not, that's what transfer pipettes are for. So, now, just have to evaporate it down, so I'll come back when there is some progress to report on that. Okay, everybody, after all day of drying it, we have thallium chlorate. I dried it out in the sun, which may not have been, well, let's put it on a background where you can actually see it. That may not have been the wisest of moves. Um, I'm not honestly sure. Um, I mean, thallium is not as photosensitive as silver, at least not a lot of its compounds, not most of them. It did acquire a slight yellowish tinge as it finally dried out. Um, this is after I have dried it. Well, I, all I did was just took a pipette and decanted off the excess... De oh my god. Took a pipette and decanted off the excess solution. Um, that I added to my recycling and I have a shitload more thallium sulfate going here because I thought my recycling had a few hundred milligrams of thallium in it. More like several grams. That was a happy surprise. What a great day. <laughs> Um, it's always a good day when you find out you had a shitload more thallium than you thought you did. Shit's expensive. It's like more than $100 worth of thallium. Um, so it's a beautiful, nice white compound. Um, I already kind of crushed it up and powdered it. It powders extremely easily because of how it crystallizes. Um... I mean, those crystals are just incredible. And given that, I mean, thallium nitrate, well, thallium sulfate was just pure needles. Thallium nitrate was weird needles that seemed to, like, go off at right angles to each other. And now thallium chlorate crystallized out in these minute little, 
I, I don't even know what shape they started out in. I would assume hexagonal, although I could be completely wrong on that. Um, but because it crystallizes in little plates, it, it is extremely easy to powder this stuff, which also means it is a huge hazard because of the dust. But, you know, yeah, this is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. That's just not really enough to do a pyrotechnic mix with. I mean, yeah, it will probably go off because it will eat, it'll readily form intimate mixtures with a powdered fuel. But, I mean, it won't go off for long. We'll barely see anything. Um... We might even miss the green of the thallium behind the, what I'm going to have to use to set it off. Because, I mean, it's got thallium in it. I'm not going to be anywhere near that shit when it fucking lights up. <laughs> so I think what I'll do instead is just take a portion of the thallium sulfate I have coming. And we'll just do thallium azide. And we will settle on that for our exciting thallium compound. I mean, a bang is better than pyrotechnics anyway. Especially when you have somebody playing with it like me that has absolutely no idea what they're doing. Um, I mean, I don't know how big of a bang it makes, so we'll start small and work our way up, I guess. Anywho, so tune in for that video, y'all, and until the next one, I will see you later.